In last week's What Sold video, I told you that I didn't really list a whole lot. Like I wasn't as consistent with listing as I had been in the past. And I was certain that that was gonna have a really big impact on my sales this week. And to be honest with you, I wasn't that bad. <laughs> so if you wanna see what sold for me over the week of Christmas, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body candles by your neck. All Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, and ThreadUp. In this video, we're going to be talking about what sold for me in the week of December 21st through the 27th. And it was actually like a decent week. It felt slow, but yeah, it actually turned out to be okay when I ran my numbers and I was very pleasantly surprised. So I'm going to be sharing all of that with you today. Um, I'm sitting in front of my shoe wall again. A lot of you expressed last week in that what sold video that you really liked seeing the shoes. And in fact, I will show you more of them i'll show you like kind of the whole wall i have my phone on a tripod right now but i'll just pick it up so if you can see let me move back so you can see kind of like how tall it is and it goes all the way down and over and if you can kind of see over here there are like boxes of shoes that still need to go inside of these because there are some empty boxes obviously they are pretty sturdy i did make the mistake of trying to put like boots up on top and there was like a deafening crash one day i thought there was like legitimately an earthquake it was just all of my boxes and boots falling down so i won't try to store stuff up on top anymore but yeah that's my wall of shoes i um love it i just use like the usps shoe boxes and they're really sturdy so that's what i've been using now in case you are new here i am a part-time reseller which means that i you know do this on the side of my full-time job as a high school choir teacher um i'm also a mom to two kids if you enjoy reselling content like what sold videos like thrift hauls like tips and tricks videos all that kind of stuff then definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy a good what sold video that way i know to continue making these i think i've made these like since the day i started my youtube channel i have a what sold video from every week and if you want to check out that playlist i will have it linked down below but let's go ahead and talk about what sold for me and we will start with monday December 21st. I only had one sale, but it was a good one. It was over on Poshmark. The brand is American Giant. This is definitely a Bolo brand. They are, I think, just online right now. Like they don't have a storefront, but they have kind of a cult following. And it's a lot of like basic staple pieces that are just really well made. They're made in the USA. This was a pair of black cigarette pants in a size four. I actually have sold the same exact pair of pants before. I picked up that pair and this pair at a local Local consignment store where I did like a big shopping extravaganza. <laughs> they let me shop there by myself and I paid $50 per huge garbage bag. So I have less than a dollar into these and they sold for $60. So I made $48 on those and they were listed for less than a month. So that was really exciting. Like I said, it's a great brand to be on the lookout for. I think my first pair sold for like $55. So really like comps are, you know, between like $50 and $70. I think I had mine listed at $75. I got an offer for $60. I'm happy with that, especially when I only spent less than a dollar on them. So moving on to December 22nd, which was a Tuesday, I had a couple sales on Poshmark. The first one was a Victoria's Secret lined demi bra and it was a size 32C. It was like a really pretty gray lacy bra, essentially. I got it at that consignment store as well for under a dollar. Someone bought it for $25 and so my payout was $20 on that. The next item to sell or the next transaction, I should say, was a bundle of two pieces, and they actually sold to a viewer and friend, and I'll tell you who it is in a second, but the first item was this Oshkosh Bagosh pink full zip track jacket in a size seven. I do believe I got that for free from a friend at church, as well as this next piece, which was a Star Wars graphic ringer t-shirt in a size extra large youth. Both of those items I got for free. Someone liked both of them, so I went ahead and put them in a bundle for her, and I sent her a really generous offer because I know the person and we're friends. So I sent her an offer of $20 with discounted shipping. So I made $13 in 
$1.88. Those sold to Nicole. I will put her YouTube channel right here and I'll link it down in the description below. She just started a YouTube channel and we actually collaborated for her very first video, which was a Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing of shoes. And so I will link that video here as well. But um, she's just killing it, I feel like, as a newbie on YouTube. I really enjoy her videos. If you have not checked her out yet, please make sure that you do. But she got these for her kids, so I was really excited and I was happy to give her a good deal. And she actually just did an unboxing or like an unboxing overview of like those $200 like jumbo boxes. Are they like 300? I think it's like $300 for like 200 pounds of clothes or something. I don't remember. She just did her video. Make sure you go check it out. But um, she was showing some Lululemon pieces that she got. I snatched them up like right away. So <laughs> she's doing some really cool stuff on her channel and she's also a part-time reseller just like me. So if you enjoy learning from other part-time resellers, she is a great person to follow. All right, moving on to what sold on Mercari on Tuesday the 22nd. I sold this Berkeley Original League waffle knit long sleeve shirt in a size small. This sold for $16 with free shipping, so I did have to pay $4.71 to ship that out. I did use pirate ship, so I made $8.93 on that. That I got at the consignment store for under a dollar, so I was cool with that. And then moving on to Wednesday, the 23rd of December, I had one sale on Poshmark, and this actually sold while I was thrifting, and I have that thrift with me video here. It was so exciting. I got it in my car, and I was like, whoa, this was a full price sale. It was this pair of very volatile vegan leather cowboy heeled boots in a size seven and a half. These I got for free from my friend at church. Um, she's been giving me a ton of stuff, a lot of boots. All of them are kind of in this like size seven to seven and a half range. They sold for $50. That was my full asking price. And I don't know anything about cowboy boots. In fact, in that last video that I was just talking to you about that thrift with me video, um, a few of you left comments being like, oh my gosh, like you passed up on a pair of Ariat boots or Ariat, I don't know how to say it. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that that's what I was looking at because I don't know anything about cowboy boots and I, yeah, I just don't. So I just went ahead and listed these for 50. That's kind of what comps are showing, but they weren't even real leather. And I was just like doubting that they would ever sell. They weren't even listed that long, really only for like a few weeks. And so they sold for me full asking price of $50 and I made 40. So happy about that. So that was really cool. Another full price sale, but this was over on eBay. It was this pair of American Eagle original straight khakis in a size 26 by 30 so really small and in fact i think it said 26 by 30 but also like in parentheses it said like size 16 or 18 which is youth but my asking price was 24.99 that is what they sold for they paid for shipping although i was able to ship it out for a little bit less so i made 23 dollars 89 off of those and i got those at the consignment store for under a dollar. So that was great. The next thing to sell was actually just something that we had lying around at home. I take photographs of all of my shoes and small accessories in a light box and that is in our office. And so I was photographing there while my husband was sitting at the desk doing some work and he saw that I was photographing and he was like, oh, I have a few things that you could list if you want. And one of those things was this Apple a1354 airport extreme wi-fi base station i don't know what any of that means it was just this thing i don't know so i kind of looked up what other ones were going for they seem to be going for around that 19.99 rate so that's what i listed it for it sold for that amount and they paid for shipping it was promoted at one percent so i made 16 dollars and 60 cents my husband was super shocked that that sold because it is like an older model of whatever it is i don't know what it is and i will say with this kind of stuff like when it sold he quickly plugged it in and just made sure that all of our information was taken off of it because i guess like it holds and I don't know I don't even know what it is but he just kind of cleaned it you know wiped it of all the data that was on it just to keep us safe and just to give them a product that was you know clear of anyone else's data so if you are selling this kind of stuff just make sure that you clear it of all the data so that people don't learn unnecessary things about you you know um so that was really cool it's always really cool to see what kind of stuff is just kind of collecting dust and list it and make money off of it so that was free money right there which is awesome the next thing to sell was over on mercari it was this pair of new with tags wonder kids which i think is just kohl's um like a purple pair of metallic joggers in a size 2t which is toddler this sold for ten dollars on mercari with 
free shipping, which was $3.77 through Pirate Ship. So I only made $4.64 on that sale. I got it for less than a dollar at that consignment store. Did I need to pick it up? No. Was it cute? Yeah. So I, I don't care. It's fine. All right, moving on to Thursday, which is December 24th, which was Christmas Eve. I had a good number of sales and I was so surprised because I didn't think people would be shopping on Poshmark and eBay, you know, on Christmas Eve, but some people were. So the first thing to sell was the Skies Are Blue Color Block Sleeveless Sheath Dress in a size large. Oh my gosh, that is really hard to say with the trades in my mouth, but we got through it. That sold for $20. That was the offer sent to me, so I made $16. And I did get that at the consignment store for less than a dollar. The next thing to sell also came from the consignment store, and it was this pair of pink Victoria's Secret leopard print trim leggings in a size extra small they were pretty faded and when i got the ten dollar offer i was like fine like these things usually go for like 15 to 18 dollars but i was willing to let go of them for less because they were pretty faded and so i still made seven dollars and five cents and i had less than a dollar into them so i was cool with that the next thing to sell, I was also really excited to move just because I've had it for a really long time. It was this altered state boho plaid flannel button up shirt in a size medium. It was like flannel on the front and then the back was like this crochet lace. I don't know. I've had it for a really long time. And so it sold for $15. That was the offer sent to me and I made $12. That is an example of something that I relisted. And even after relisting it, it still took months to sell. So Altered State, it's one of those brands that like it can do okay, but you have to have like the perfect piece. And even then you're not going to get that much for it. And it probably will end up sitting for you for just a little bit. This was not the piece to pick up. So there you have it. The next thing to sell was this Brooks Brothers 346 slim fit button down shirt in a size large. This sold for $20 with this kind of shipping because I sent out offers to Likers. They accepted, so I made $13.88. And that was listed for a couple months as well. I don't like listing button up shirts, but I have a ton, so I will list them. They will sit for a while, but then they will always eventually sell at some point in my life. And then on eBay, I had a pretty good day of sales. The first thing to sell was this new with tags, Disney baby Winnie the Pooh plush. Um, this I think we had gotten as a gift, but my kids like never really took to plushes that much or like stuffed animals. Um, my son has one that he got from his cousin's birthday that he loves. But you know how like there are those kids that like cannot sleep unless they have like their favorite stuffed animal or like their blanket or something. Like, I don't know, that was never really something that my kids went through. So we got this, no one cared about it. <laughs> Just kind of hung out in our house. So I listed it and it sold for $12. I had shipping at $5 and the person, you know, after purchasing it was like, can you do anything about shipping? It's so expensive. And I was like, really? like. I don't think five dollars is that expensive because when you weighed it out and everything it came out to three dollars and 48 cents to ship it out but i realized that she was an international buyer so she was not only paying that five dollars to get it shipped to kentucky where they um you know do all the screening and get ready to ship it out internationally but then she had to pay to get it shipped to her from kentucky on top of that and that's why she was saying it was so expensive because it only came out to three dollars and 48 cents i was like look i will send you two dollars and so i got her paypal email address and i went to send her a $2 refund. Well, I guess if you're gonna send money on PayPal, if it's under a certain amount, you get tacked on like a PayPal fee. So I got tacked on an additional 99 cents. So I lost like $3 on that sale, which is fine because we got it for free, but it was just kind of this like frustrating thing. So anyway, I made $8.65 off of that, which again is fine because it was free. It was just hanging out in our house and we're able to clear it out and move it on to someone who really wants it. And she said that the reason she was buying it was because um, they had lost one that was identical to this. So they needed a new one and I had it. So she got it. So there you go. And that was promoted at 1%. The next thing to sell was this pair of Roby's um, leather crib shoes. They were blue with like a dog. Like I think half the dog was on one of the shoes and the other half of the dog was on the other. They were for six to 12 month old babies. I listed these for $17.99 on eBay with free shipping. They sold for my full asking price. Like I was shocked because these are like the most tiniest insignificant things. Shipping was $3.09 because they weighed nothing. So I made $13 and 10 cents, 10 cents. I got those for free from a friend of mine. And I actually just wrote an Instagram post about her because she like basically went thrifting for me and just like 
found stuff. We were like FaceTiming while she was there. And then I like told her what to get for me. She bought it and then she dropped it off at my house. But it's that same friend. If you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, for the behind the scenes shenanigans, then I will leave my handle right here. She like always goes back and forth on reselling. Like she'll go through spurts where she's like super gung ho about it and excited. And then she'll go through spurts where she's like, can I just give you all of my stuff? Cause I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. But um, she gave me a bunch of like her boys shoes from when they were babies um it was a lot of like stride right and some robies so i just went ahead and listed them not knowing what to expect and they sold like pretty quickly like within two weeks of listing so i was really excited about that so 13 dollars 10 of pure profit because she gave them to me for free the next thing to sell was this lot of two pairs of carter's waffle knit joggers for size nine month old babies they sold for nine dollars with free shipping it cost three dollars and 30 cents to ship out um so i made four dollars and 71 cents because they were promoted at one percent as well i got those at the consignment store for under a buck um now not the best investment like carter's is so cheap to begin with i just thought they were so cute so i couldn't leave them behind i definitely fall into that trap a lot where i'm like these are so cute like i have to save them and i'm okay with doing that from time to time like i yeah whatever all right the last thing to sell i was really excited about it was this pair of new without the box merrill inventor peak waterproof leather knee-high boots in a size 7. These sold for $75. They paid for shipping and I made $68.12. I got those at a local Goodwill. I stopped in really quickly and I just kind of looked through their shoes. These were listed at $25. They were not half off or anything, but I looked up comps while I was in the store. I never dropped that kind of money without looking up comps because... <laughs> I, right? Like who, yeah. So I looked up comps. They seem to be pretty good. I think I had them listed really high at like 125 or something like that. But when I got the $75 offer, I, you know, check comps again and they seem to be about that price. So I accepted the offer and I made like a $43 profit off of those boots. I was really excited about that. I am trying to be better about, you know, paying up for things if the profit margin is there. And they definitely were for these boots. So I was really excited about that. Moving on to Friday, December 25th, which was Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas this year. But on that day, I I actually made a few sales again I was very surprised the first thing was this bundle and the situation again was that someone had liked a couple items I put them in a bundle and sent them an offer with this kind of shipping and they accepted so the first thing that I picked up was this pair of I'm gonna butcher uh the brand name here but Arturo Chiang I don't know if that's right. The style name was Feisty and they were these leather buckle combat boots in a size seven and a half. I got them on the same trip to Goodwill that I got those like Merrill um, boots that I just talked about. I will link that thrift haul right here. I have never heard of this brand. I've never seen it, but they looked really nice. They looked really cool. So I, you know, check comps really quickly because I think I paid like six bucks for them and I took them home with me because I was like, they are awesome. So I was excited that those sold and they sold, you know, within a couple weeks of me listing them. So I was really excited about that sale because they sold within like a couple weeks of me listing them. The next thing in the bundle was this pair of Lou and Gray black high-waisted drawstring pants in a size medium. I'm going to stop picking these kinds of things up. Like I think some people really like them and will buy them, but not very many people in the world. So um, these I believe I got for free at the consignment store for under a dollar. So it's totally fine. But I have had them for a really long time with very little interest. So yeah, I mean, just not a style of pants that are really worth picking up. And I did have to relist them. And then even after being relisted, they were listed for a cool white some time. So I put both of those items in a bundle. I sent an offer of $55 with discount shipping for both of the items which they accepted so I made $41.88 so I was super happy about that basically I had like let's see um six like seven dollars into the bundle and I made $41.88 so that was really cool the next thing to sell was another bundle and it was the same thing someone liked a bunch of items I put them in a bundle and I sent them an offer with this kind of shipping so the first thing to sell was this Jacob blue leather belt in a size small petite I've never heard of this brand or anything but it was genuine leather and it's a belt like people need belts so I just picked it up at that consignment store for under a dollar and it had 
has been listed for quite some time, so it's definitely not a quick mover, but I am happy to have moved it finally. The next thing to sell was also from the consignment store, and it was this American Eagle plaid button-down shirt for men in a size extra small. That was under a dollar. The last thing to sell was in my 4 for $25 sale just because I knew that there was no brand recognition because it was a brand out of Korea, and I don't know. Yeah, I just, I thought it was cute, but I just threw it in my 4 for $25 sale. My brother gave it to me for free, so any profit was profit on this item and it was by the brand LA King and it was like this fitted polo shirt I thought it was really cute but again I knew it would be hard for people to find I did have to relist that I did have to sit on it for a long time but for me once it's listed like I'm gonna keep it listed till it sells so that bundle sold for $40 with discounted shipping so I made $29.88 on those three pieces and I had less than two dollars into the whole bundle so score the next thing to sell was this new with tags ASOS black long puff sleeve dress in a size 18. This sold for $25 and so I made $20. I believe I got that at a Plato's clearance sale. They were having like their 90% off clearance sale and I had actually purchased a black long sleeve dress from ASOS, you know, the time before that, that I went to Plato's and it still hadn't sold. So I was like, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but I picked it up because of the fact that it had the puff sleeves and because it was a bigger size, it was a size 18. So those are the reasons why I got it. And I got it for so cheap, like probably under $2. So I was like, I'll just try it out. And it sold. It took, you know, a couple months, but I was still happy that it sold for 25 and I made 20. And then I had one sale over on eBay. It was this new brick Brilliance Microdermabrasion Home Skin Care Complete Diamond Exfoliation Kit. I, yeah, I don't know what any of that is. I mean, I, I know what it is. I know what it means to, whatever. Anyway, this I got from a friend of mine. She came over with some stuff and we worked out like a consignment deal. This was part of it. I didn't know anything about it because I've never used anything like this before. But when I looked it up on eBay, I saw that, you know, some of these things had sold. So I went ahead and bought it off of her and I sold it on eBay for $24.99. They paid for shipping. I had $12 for shipping on this item and it was heavy, like it was over four pounds, but I think because they didn't live very far away and I like cut down my box so that it, you know, there wasn't a lot of like dead space that I was gonna be paying for. Um, shipping was only $9.50, I was shocked. So I made $23.79 off of that and that's one of the reasons I like, you know, getting stuff for free or working out consignment deals with people. The fact of the matter is, whoever it is that you're buying from, they purchased that item at one point. You know what I mean? Like, they thought that this was something worth purchasing. And if they felt like that, there are other people that feel like that too. So even though I knew nothing about this, I could tell looking at it, it was probably something pretty expensive. I think she said she had only used it like a couple times and it just wasn't for her and everything that needed to be there was there. And she was kind of like showing me all the things. So that's why I decided to try it out. And now I know like if I'm ever at the thrift store and I see one of these kits or if I see the box and you know, everything is in there and it's in good shape, um, I know I could make roughly around $25 off of it. And that's pretty cool. So the moral of the story is tell people what you do. On December 26th, which was a Saturday, I had a couple sales. The first thing was this Lou and Gray open front lightweight cardigan in a size extra small. This I sent out offers to Likers on for $15. So after discounted shipping, I made $9.88. That item I got at the consignment store for under a dollar. So even though $9.88 isn't a lot of profit, it's still like decent when you, you know, have less than a dollar into it. So I made like nine bucks off of that basically. The next thing to sell, I was again, so surprised by because it came from that same friend that gave me those cowboy boots and it has given me a ton of other boots that have sold really well, mind you. Again, like that's the case of someone spent money on this particular item even though it's not my style and something that I would spend my money on, someone did and more people will. <laughs> and it only takes one person to buy something from you. So I went ahead and listed these Carlos by Carlos Santana Hope, that was the style, gray moto boots in a size seven, thinking no one would want to buy them because I don't even think that they were real leather, but someone bought them at my full asking price of $35. And so I made $28 and that was $28 of pure profit because my friend gave those to me for free. So again, like I just, 
I'm not one to turn my nose up at free inventory. I will try it out and I will see how things do. And usually it turns into an opportunity for me to learn more about a brand or a style that I would otherwise have not known anything about. And if you remember from last week's What Sold video, I will link that right here. I sold another pair of Carlos by Carlos Santana boots from the same person for $50. So it's a crazy world, guys. And then I had one more Mercari sale. It was this H&M gray bomber utility jacket in a size 36R. I let this go for $16 for a couple of reasons. One, my brother gave it to me for free. Two, it had some flaws. Three, it was like really old. So I let it go for 16. They paid $9.99 for shipping. I made a profit of $13.64. That is probably one of my very oldest listings. Like I have had that thing for probably two years at this point. I had it listed. I just kept it listed. It was already like sitting, you know, somewhere in storage in my house. So I was like, until this thing sells, like it's just going to stay here. And it finally did. I was so happy. And then on Sunday, the 27th, which is the last day of sales that we're going to talk about, no Poshmark sales. And I had no Poshmark sales the following day either, which was Monday. And today's Tuesday, and I still have no Poshmark sales. So I'm probably going to send out some offers to likers tonight and see if I can break the drought. But that's just how it goes sometimes. And that's why I love to cross list using list perfectly because I don't like to depend too much on one platform in case I have, you know, a couple days like I did on Poshmark or even on eBay. I started off this week with no sales over on eBay. So for me, cross listing is a must and list perfectly is the way to go. I do have a link down below for list perfectly. If you use my coupon code of Becky Park, you can save 30% off of your first month. And I do think that you'll love it. It is a really really great tool so just throwing that out there but I sold on eBay this new with tags the brand was in apostrophe s like ins I don't know it was the classical style beaded fringe bag it was just this little tiny bag beaded all over it was lined and then it had like little fringe with beading on it I think my mother-in-law actually gave this to me and I don't know where she got it like she just had it. I don't know. So she brought it over. It was new with tags. I went ahead and listed it for $19.99 with free shipping and my good friend Ricardo purchased it. If you've watched um, some of my What Sold videos, you've heard the name Ricardo. Um, he'll pop into my store every once in a while and purchase something from me because he's awesome. And I felt so bad because maybe not last week, but two weeks ago, he purchased this like Vera Wang perfume set and it still hasn't made its way to him. And I mean, I, I had to ship that out through ground shipping because of the fact that it is a perfume and I'm sure that that's part of the reason why it's taking so long to get to him but he reached out and was like hey have you heard anything about this like we haven't gotten it yet and I was like oh my gosh like the shipping you know I know everyone is experiencing shipping delays and so I apologize profusely also because I should have been the one to reach out to him like he shouldn't have had to reach out to me I've been really bad about that mainly because I've had really understanding buyers but um hi yeah. You used all of that tape too. Why don't? It's okay. Why don't you see if um use the tape from my desk? Go get the tape from my desk in the playroom. Can you close the door? Um, one of my son's favorite things is wrapping presents. But like basically he will, you know, use wrapping paper and then he will cover all of the wrapping paper in tape. It is, yeah, like we've gone through so much scotch tape. Anyway, we were talking about delayed shipping. <laughs> um, yeah, Ricardo is so understanding though, so amazing. And I talked about his eBay store before. He basically carries like all sports stuff. So like if you like professional sports, maybe he has collegiate stuff too, I can't remember, but like hats and jerseys and that sort of thing, definitely check out his store. I will have it linked below in the description, but he came in and purchased this. He's so sweet. I think he's like always getting gifts for like different people in his life, like his nieces and you know, different people. So really, really sweet. Um, after shipping and all that, I made $13 and 67 cents off of this bag. And it was pure profit because my mother-in-law gave that bag to me for free. So thank you, Ricardo. 
a thank you to my mother-in-law who also watches my videos and everyone's awesome. Everyone is awesome. Everyone gets a prize. The last thing to sell for the week I was super excited about. It was actually this Carhartt red plaid jacket in a size medium. It was fleece lined. I got it while I was out thrifting and um, I already linked that thrift with me video, but I'll link it down below in the description as well. And my local thrift store only had it priced at like $5.99 or something like that. And what I did was, um, you know, a lot of people do this over on Instagram, but like they'll go thrifting and they'll take a picture of the item that they thrifted and then they will have a poll asking people if they would have picked that up or not for that price. And so I wanted to play the game. I, you know, took pictures of some of the things that I was considering purchasing and I did the poll to see if people agreed with me or not, if I should pick up the item. Most of the things people were like, don't get it. And I still got it anyway. This Carhartt jacket though, it was like almost unanimous. Like most people were like, what are you crazy? Like, of course you need to get that jacket. So I had that poll going in my Instagram and Grace who ended up purchasing it for me, she saw it in my Instagram and she was like, oh my gosh, like I want that. Like how much do you want for it? I knew it would be pretty expensive to ship out just because it's a bigger bulkier jacket. And um, I also knew that if I listed it, you know, somewhere on like Poshmark or eBay, it would probably sell really quick because it's Carhartt and because um, of just like how amazing it was and the plaid and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to sell myself short, but I also wanted to give her a great deal. So I told her I could sell it to her for $60 shipped, which she agreed to. Shipping was $16 and six cents because it was big, it was bulky, it was heavy. Um, so I knew it was going to be expensive. Grace also lived a little farther away from me, which is fine. That's not her fault, but um, $16 and six cents to ship it out. But after shipping and PayPal fees and all that kind of stuff, I made $41.90 cents off of that jacket and then if you subtract the six dollars that was my cost of goods I made like thirty six dollars on that so that was really cool so thank you so much Grace I hope you love it I hope it gets to you soon and that it doesn't get caught up in all of the crazy shipping delays which I hope are going down for people now that people are not shipping out as much so let's talk about my numbers over on Poshmark I sold 17 items that brought in three hundred dollars and forty five cents of profit so I've already deducted shipping fees I've already deducted platform fees the only thing I haven't deducted are my cost of goods which you heard were pretty cheap either free or under a dollar <laughs> and then on eBay I sold eight items and that gave me a profit of a hundred seven $72.53. My cost of goods for eBay were a little bit higher because I did spend $25 on that one pair of boots and I had that one consignment item, but other things were for free or again, super cheap, like under a dollar. On Mercari, I sold three items for a total of $27.21. I had one direct sale for a total of $41.90. So I sold a total of 29 items, which is less than it's been. And I wasn't surprised by that. You know, I hadn't listed as consistently as I had before. I had taken a break and um, I think this was the result of that. So I sold 29 items for a total of $542.09. If you were to subtract my cost of goods and I'm just kind of estimating ballpark here that probably drops my total to about $500 of profit which I'm super happy about and what sold for me were 15 women's pieces seven men's pieces five kids pieces and three hard goods although it's weird to say hard goods when one of them was like a plush and they're not hard but I think you still consider that a hard good, right? Anyway, I also like to update you on how I'm doing with that consignment store. It's the one where I went and I shopped by myself in their storage unit and I was able to pay $50 per bag. I have now sold 417 items from that place for a total of $6,915.51. Don't forget that I did spend an initial 1400s purchasing all of that inventory from them, but I am obviously in the green and then some, and I've really Really enjoyed my experience with them so much so that I've already reached out to them because I'm like almost done finally going through all that stuff that I got from them um, I have reached out to see if they'd be willing to work with me again in that way and if they do agree then I will definitely bring you along for the ride and kind of show you like what it's like in there and what the process is like for me to kind of pull stuff and all of that so if that sounds interesting to you definitely make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell because that's how youtube lets you know every time i upload new content rather than kind of picking and choosing what you see if you enjoyed this video guys please make sure that you hit that like button let me know in the comments below how your sales have been going thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video i really really appreciate it bye